Obesity in childhood is associated with um, many negative health outcomes, both in the long term and the short term. In the short term, obese children are um, much more likely to show emotional and psychological problems such as anxiety, depression and low self-esteem and also have a much higher risk of developing eating disorders and um, going through early puberty. Um, in the long term, the, the concern is that uh, obese children will be much more likely to be obese adults and of course obesity in adulthood is associated with uh, increased risk of type 2 diabetes, certain cancers, um, increased risk of stroke and heart, heart attack. Uh, so the Department of Health has um, several guidelines about uh, complementary feeding, about introducing f solid foods to infants. Um, the first one that most people know is that uh, solid food should be introduced to infants when they're around six months of age. Um, there's also recommendations around, first of all, introducing foods that are mashed or pureed and gradually transitioning um, to foods with coarser textures, to lumpy foods, um, then to finger foods and eventually family foods by 12 months of age. The Department of Health also has um, guidance around food preparation, hygiene, making sure that um, children have low risk of uh, being poisoned by food and also, also um, reducing risk of uh, choking, so making sure that children aren't alone when they're eating, that um, foods are provided in um, sizes that are not a choke hazard. Department of Health advises that a cup or a beaker is introduced by the time an infant is six months of age um, and also that uh, bottle use ceases by the time an infant reaches their first birthday because prolonged bottle use um, is associated with poor dental health. So in the UK um, there's a concern that as a population as a whole, we have um, low vitamin D status um, and infants are particularly vulnerable to having low levels of vitamin D. So it's advised by the Department of Health that from six months, children um, are given a vitamin D supplement until the age of five years. Worryingly, a quarter of mums are introducing solid foods um, between three and four months of age. And this is a concern because introducing foods this early is associated with several neg negative outcomes, including increased risk of childhood obesity.